Hey guys, welcome to episode 30 of Let's Play Minecraft with me, Paulius1981. And as you can see, it appears that my super ultra super duper battle tower is about to claim its first victim. <laughs> right in the top of the head. <laughs> well, it works. And as if right on cue, it has started raining. And I absolutely despise the rain in this game. For one very simple reason, it serves no purpose, doesn't look particularly good, and on my crappy computer drops the frame rate, and it is even getting my mighty erection all wet. Now if you're under 12 and wondering, I am not suddenly talking about my penis, that was an entirely, entirely innocent comment regarding a building, because this building, if you look it up in the dictionary, is an erection. So, in other words, don't go and tell your mum and dad about the guy on the internet who's telling you all about his mighty wet erection. Okay? Good. <laughs> and I died! Woohoo! The exact thing that this tower was supposed to prevent, and my god are we dropping frames. It's like a friggin' PowerPoint presentation. Unfortunately, I can't just wait it out. And there's raindrops landing in my fire. Normally I would just say screw it, I'm going to wait here, sleep, hope the rain goes off, but I've got to go back over to the mighty erection and get my stuff. See, as soon as I step out into the rain, rain drop. Okay, I'm getting the feeling that this video may be heavily edited. In other words, oh god damn it. Let me get inside. Yeah, I'll probably go get my stuff, and go back to my house, and wait for the rain to stop before I continue with this video. Because I am not planning to spend the whole time on the inside of the tower. I was going to have a hunting session, basically sit up at the top and shoot anything that comes close. But in the rain, it's not worth doing. So, at this point, let me skedaddle for a few minutes and I'll be back when the rain goes away. Okie dokie, so I came back, the rain has gone off. I got chased by a spider. Let me... Let me rearrange these. Yeah, I know that quite a few of you are probably sitting there wondering how in the blue hell I have a computer that has a hard time running Minecraft. Well, it's two things. One, as I've said before, I'm not just running Minecraft. I'm running Fraps, which is recording everything I'm doing. Let me stay in the house for a minute and get organised. But the big problem is, until very recently, as in about a couple of months ago, I was actually living in the USA. And after nearly 10 years over there, I've recently re uh, moved back to England. Do you know what that... Yeah, it's got a little bit of it. After um, moving back to England, it basically turned out that all of my stuff would cost twice as much to ship as it would be to buy new. So basically, I left an awful lot of stuff behind in the States, my computer being one of them. Also had to sell my Xbox, which I wasn't happy about, but I've got a new one now. Now where are my sticks? I know I had lots of sticks. So basically, since moving back over here, I am still basically... 
money's tight at the minute. I cannot afford to go out and update my computer. Although I certainly will do just that at some point in the future. And then I can go back to having some nice, um, nice 720p videos. And now I'm going to waste the last of my iron, which I should probably use. No, I've got tools. And now make some powered rails because I want to make a rail cart system between here and the tower. Let's see if those last thing. And I don't think I've got enough to do it. Come here because I'm going to need. Now the question is, do I just use this? Yeah, I'll have like a. Huh, I wonder if I should do it so it can go both. Basically, I'm, I'm just trying to wonder whether to make a circuit. Oh, let's just do one way now because I'm not sure I've even got enough to do that. Yeah, anyway, long story short for my little anecdote that wasn't very interesting just then. Basically, I moved. Now I have almost no money. So... Unless tomorrow I've suddenly got 10,000 subscribers and I make partner make partner and start making more money than anyone has ever made through YouTube ever, it's probably going to be a little while before I have the cash to update and start making better videos. God, that looks weird with the glass. I also, seriously, the other thing I want to get is a better computer so I can start doing Let's Plays of other PC games besides Minecraft. Because, what, like I said, while this computer can definitely run um, newer games, like it, it'll run, um, and I know this isn't exactly an example of ultimate processing power to be able to run this, but it will run... Um, things like Left 4 Dead 2 with very little problems. It's just it won't run Left 4 Dead 2 with fraps at a, anything close to a decent frame rate. So I'm also also seriously considering investing in once I have a computer that can do it is I can't remember what is it called? It's basically the pass through thing so you can um that sits between your Xbox 360 and your TV. So I'm going to go ahead and get that so I can record because I really, really want to do some Xbox Lex plays. Just so you know, I am not just all about the Minecraft. The reason I am all about the Minecraft right now is simply because this is the only game I can record with that's even remotely decent. And now, let me go back to Minecraft and give you a little hint about railways. Now, the powered blocks that act as brakes and move you forward when they're on, I've seen a lot of people, what they do is they build detector rails in front and behind them to turn on the booster as you come up to it. Now, considering that a detector rail you need gold and all of that, for me, it's not quite as pretty, but it works just as well to go, bam, stick a, doesn't stop you walking over it, stick a redstone torch right next to them, and sure, it stays on, it doesn't come on as and when you need it, but considering what you're saving in gold and other materials, Unless you've got the world supply of gold and it's all about how it looks rather than how it works. And I've just realised I'm exactly one iron short of actually having a minecart to try this out. Unless I've got some in my one of my crates. Let me go check. No. 
I have three iron and I need one, two, three, four, five for a minecart. So I guess that's what we're doing next. Anyway, long story short, unless you're really concerned about how it looks, don't bother with detector rails, stick a torch next to it. In fact, if you're really um, concerned about how it looks, you can always... Why is that cobble? Oh, because that's where the dungeon is. I know I've got a bit of cobble left. You can always... Oh, actually, no, you can't. They changed that in the update. <laughs> Never mind. I was going to say you can do it one below, but as you can see, pretend the signals or something. Now, really, before... And I know I'm going round and round in circles here. Let me go put the things I don't want to lose back in my manufactured items. I need to turn this into a double one or get rid of some of the crap I don't need. Actually let me take this leather tunic oh, because I think at this point I'm gonna get far more protection from a new leather one than I am from a beaten up metal one and plus it makes me look far more stylish especially with this awesome leather helmet let's see yeah I had two shields I've now got three and a half and that is one thing I've got to say I really really like about having a fireplace unless you because I really don't like to install the mods where you've got I think there's the too many items mod which I think essentially gives you an unlimited inventory I know this shouldn't be going in here but I don't have space for it anywhere else especially if I'm going on an expedition okay we'll, we'll call that sorted actually no we won't because I need torches I know I've got some, I've got 64 coal, I'm not going to use it all, but let's make, and I've just realised I'm making torches when, another argument for bothering keeping all of this stuff stored, you tend to keep making stuff when I've got two stacks up there. Well, anyway, I've just looked at the clock and we're coming up on about 13, 14 minutes. Considering last episode ran over by, it was well over 20 minutes, I really don't want to do that again because it just about doubles my rendering and my upload speed. So we'll call it a day here. And I believe tomorrow we will be out and about trying to get some more diamonds which means I am probably going to start work on a whole new mine shaft. As always um, I hope you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it if you didn't go to hell and I'll see you next time thanks for watching and goodbye.